Welcome to the first edition of Perot Show 2010. Happy New Year! Last year, 2009, we established two segments in Perot Show, the Achievers Corner and the MNI Youth Corner. The Achievers Corner celebrates those who are making the difference in Ireland and all over the world. And the MNI Youth Corner talk show look at the youths, the positive and negative experiences of the African youth in Ireland. In 2010, we are creating another two segments, the Black Entertainment segment and the Entrepreneur segment. The Black Entertainment segment will be looking at entertainment in Ireland, while the Entrepreneur segment will be looking at businesses, most especially Africa businesses in Ireland. Tonight, we are starting with the Entrepreneur segment, and we are here in Tala at the ShopRite Island with the CEO of the business, Mr. Zach Owolabi. Mr. Zach Owolabi, how are you doing? How are you, Peter? Good to be here. For the past 10 years, ShopRite, an Afro-Caribbean shop in Tala, has been providing the most important needs to the people of the area. The need for food. Because of ShopRite, locals can close from work at any time and still be assured of having a good meal before going to sleep. ShopRite assures them this by closing late every day. This at least is one way of showing appreciation to their long-term customers. The locals after 10 years now have a personal relationship with the shop that no matter where they are, they must return to the shop for all their Afro-Caribbean food and needs. This you will call a community spirit. ShopRite customers are as diverse as the stock in the shop. You can be guaranteed of food ingredients from Africa, Asia, Eastern Europe, and other parts of the globe. Okay, let's let's let's. let's um, okay, let's. Um, yeah. th this is for stockfish. It's from uh, stockfish. where do you get this from now? Uh, well, we import this one from Indonesia. Uh, um, this is called hot pepper. Hot pepper. It's called vibatusu. It's uh, actually used by Eastern Europeans yeah. and Indians. Okay. We asked Mr. Zach how they are dealing with the economic downturn. Let's just say God is good yeah. and uh, is great and is great all the time. Things have been very slow lately as you can as you say yourself yeah. that yeah. uh, Celtic tiger you know yeah. it's not um <laughs> it's not roaring the way you yeah. used to roll back yeah. in the days yeah. but uh, the business kept going anyway it kept going and it's going well thank god yeah we've seen your african show now i think we should go and see the island club that's your restaurant that's is that okay it's okay no problem. okay <laughs> Welcome to ShopRite. Welcome to ShopRite. Welcome to ShopRite. For all your Afro-Caribbean food you need. Our customer satisfaction is second to none. I love ShopRite. I love ShopRite. ShopRite is the best place to shop. Our prices are unbeatable and we're open to late to make your shopping easy. Address Unit 11 Fortune South Shopping Centre, Tala, Dublin 24. For all your Afro Caribbean food in East, ShopRite is your first choice of call. Welcome back to Perot Show. We are here at the Island Club. We've left the ShopRite where Mr. Zach Wolabi is on Afro Caribbean food. Now we are at the island club and restaurant. Mr. Zaku how are you doing once again? How are you again? Pete? I am fine. Okay, now we are at the island club. Could you tell us briefly when island club started and what they do here exactly? 
the restaurant actually opened on the 27th of June, 2009. Okay. All right. And what we do basically is food, as in general, ranging from fish and dodo, the plantain which you specialize in. We have pandered yam, egusi soup, alfang soup, spinach soup, draw soup. Mkobi. Even Mkobi and, and name it, we have it here. Whatever they want, yeah. whatever you want to it's get it here. It's a whiz here. Whatever you it's want, a, yeah. we have it here. We have, right. we have the best cook in Ireland. Is we it just have, for the Africans alone? or No, no, not at all. It's for Africans and Asian. We have food from uh, Pakistan, Indians and China. We also have few Eastern European dishes here. If okay. you have a look at our menu, if you go through it, you will see all type of uh, dishes that uh, you will be surprised yourself. Island Club is gradually becoming a celebrity center in Dublin. Among other things, the restaurant is now known for celebration of surprise parties for special people. For example, a lady who wanted to show her husband how much she cares about him during the 2009 Father's Day celebration organize a surprise for him at the Island Club. Happy Tell me about uh, sport here. Do you use sport again to bring people together at the mm -hmm. island club? Oh, yes. When when these big teams want to play, you know, we have a full house. There's a full house. We yeah. have a full house here. And the people call up to even book tables. Yeah. Yeah, just to be able to, you know, when, when their team is playing and they know it's a big game and it's a home, it's a, it's a, it's a home game, mm -hmm. they book a table and say, listen, we are booking two or three tables. We're coming down. We want to come and watch game. So that's another interesting thing here. Yeah. So, Mr. Zach Owolabi. Is very happy with the caliber of customers that frequent the restaurants. What I can tell you is we get we get gentlemen and we get the easygoing ladies here. We have beautiful people, we are people from we are people from from even Indonesia. We are people from China. We have Africans. But we, we, we have quite a number of decent people coming in here and we are very, very happy with them. Every day, each and every day we, we get hard on. We have new faces, and they are very happy with the food, they are happy with the environment. And as for how he rates the services and the hospitality of the staff? So people are very happy with our customers and our services. They, they like the, the service manager, they are happy with the chef, and they, they are happy with the, the whole staff as a whole. They know, even when the head chef is not around, they, they, they take note of it. They say, oh, where is this, where is this lady? We call her uh, Yachali. That's her nickname. And uh, people, when she's not around, people say, where, where is the Yachali? So that tells us there that uh, people know our, our, our staff here and they're very, very happy. We are, we're kind of, we're, we, we relate as a family here. 